Welcome back to Chuck Pittsburgh. Whether they're still with us or not, our pets will always hold a special place in our hearts. And our next guest helps to make sure we have a piece of them with us forever. I'm joined right now by artist Deanna Ulbrich. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And so tell us about your business. How did you get started? Uh, I was actually working in a restaurant in Florida back in 2021, and I was waiting on a woman and her mom, and my dad's picture was just sitting on her table, and I didn't know how it got there. He had passed a year before, and she said that he was showing her a paintbrush, and she just had to tell me because he kept showing her, but it didn't make sense because I wasn't artistic. Yeah. And so was this like a vision that she saw like some or, or how did she this said she was connecting with him. Wow. Two weeks later, I got dollar store supplies. I went to paint. I painted a squirrel in my backyard and I knew immediately that this is what I was supposed to be doing. What a story. I quit my job four months later. <laughs> it just I mean, that really just came to you. Like, yeah, a, it was you had to be doing this. It was in there the whole time. And so why why pet portraits? I mean, you said your first one was of a squirrel. But I just love them. I love yeah. animals. They just they make my heart happy. Well, for so many of us too. Yeah. They're, they're our family. They're our extended family. Yeah. So do you take a picture? Do you take a picture and use that as the, the way? I use a reference photo. Okay. So typically I'll zoom in. I'll crop it from head to shoulders and then just graph it out. And I graph out the canvas and. Oh, look at some of these. That's images. Abigail. Do you remember their names? Oh yeah, that's Padme. <laughs> She's a soft wheat and coated terrier. That's Porter. I wore these earrings for him because he loved watermelon. Oh. And that's Smudge. Smudge is a rock star. That's Mia. She's with us. Callie Mae, I just finished her last week. She just oh. went home to Tennessee. And so when you Adeline. say went home to, did, like go like back to, to her house. Okay. I How just, I talk about them like they're alive, the portraits, but the canvas went to her home in Tennessee. And so that was gonna be my next question. Have all the animals passed on or? Not all of them, it's really 50-50. I mean, like the next seven babies on my wait list, they're all alive. But Mia has passed, Lucy's still with us, Porter, he passed away a couple weeks ago. Oh, I'm so but sorry. Yeah. And right here we have Lucy, you mentioned this. Yeah. So tell us about Lucy. She's a golden doodle, and I actually took her photo. Her dad um, gifted the portrait to his wife for Mother's Day. Aww. And so I went and took photos of her and got to meet her, and she's just a big ball of energy. She's the best. And so, yeah, some of them are still with us. And yeah. It's just, it's really just to, to see them. And this is yeah. the first draft that you had. Yeah, that's Liz. Look how cute. So not having any background in doing this, have you found that it comes easy to you, like you were yeah. born to do this? I, I don't think about it. And in the beginning when I was thinking about it, it was incredibly difficult. It was just getting in my head so much. I just had to just trust the process, trust right. myself, and that's when it all, the magic unfolded. I'm so fascinated by this story and how you got the inspiration to do this. Is it okay if I ask, of your course. dad had passed the year prior. The year prior. Suddenly, yeah. So he passed away suddenly. And so mm -hmm. was this so weird, so abrupt to hear this from a stranger? I was, it was truly like the hardest time in my life. Yeah. So I feel like he was just trying to give me that push. He just went through a strange woman, strange to me anyway, in that moment and was like, paint. <laughs> this is what you should be doing. Yeah. Do you feel him with you when you're oh, painting? Always, yeah. And what is it like, signs. what is the customer reaction like to some of your, your paintings? Sometimes tears, sometimes just so happy. I can't wait for Mia to go home. I'm so excited. She's going to hang in her mom's salon. Her mom owns a salon in Burgettstown. I can hear the emotion in your voice. You I'm know trying how much, to hold it together. <laughs> oh, but you know how much this means to people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're going to take a commercial okay. break then. You can, you can pull it together because I'm okay. going to get emotional now. We can't both be crying <laughs> at the same time. So stick around because coming up on Chalk Pittsburgh, we're going to get to see a little bit of Deanna's process of crafting these pet portraits using someone that's near and dear to my heart. I have not seen this yet. That's up next. Stay with us.